Welcome back. In its commitment against climate change, the city of Grand Rapids is switching to green energy. And another piece of this commitment was made with the activation of a new solar array at the city's water filtration plant. This is this is a game changer for us. One step at a time, a newly activated solar array will help Grand Rapids with its renewable energy efforts. Earlier this month, the switch was flipped at the city's Lake Michigan filtration plant in West Olive Township. So this array is just shy of one megawatt in size, takes up three acres, and it actually will provide the water plant with about 10% of the electricity needs of the water filtration plant. And it will move us from 37.5% as a total city municipality on our renewable energy goal to 41% and ultimately saves us $1.5 million in net savings over 24 years. The filtration plant treats and pumps millions of gallons of water for the city of Grand Rapids and surrounding areas. We have multiple intakes in Lake Michigan uh, that are, are a distance out. Uh, we have multiple pump stations for redundancy purposes to pull wild water in from Lake Michigan. Uh, it is the only source that we have for the city of Grand Rapids and our customers and our partner communities in the area. The array was made possible through a partnership with Michigan-based CMS Energy, who will maintain the three acres in size. The location of the site made for no environmental disruption when constructed, such as cutting down trees or being placed near a wetland. CMS Energy will also aid in the scenery of the array. And underneath the arrays, you can see it's starting to take hold a little bit, are native pollinator species that have been planted to help support our bees and our butterflies and um, other insects that we have in our area. And in addition, there will be some landscaping that will go around the perimeter of the array where the two streets are, um, and also then really helping to support some of the local greenery and landscaping. The array is part of Grand Rapids' goal of 100% renewable energy for municipal operations by 2025 and reaching net zero for greenhouse gases by 2040. It's, it's great for the city. You know, the mayor has uh, the various initiatives out there uh, for green energy production and usage through all the facilities. I mean, it's not just this array here, but we're also looking at other pot potential areas to reduce our carbon footprint. Well, I would say I'm ecstatic about this and really just visibly be able to have as an example of the type of sustainability and climate change commitments that the city of Grand Rapids has made. Now the city will continue to assess a solar opportunity at the Butterworth landfill along with evaluating the cost and benefits at several other facilities around Grand Rapids for its municipal operations. This is cool. Yeah, it's some cool stuff and again, we can't just do this all at once. It's right. not that easy. It's, it's a so, gradual process, but mm -hmm. it really takes being purposeful about it. Exactly. These baby steps will eventually lead to that ultimate goal the city is looking for. Really good energy. to see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Blake, thank you. Mm -hmm.